In 2021, the World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Index ranked Belize at 47 out of 135 countries for economic participation. This is a vast improvement from five years ago, as more and more women are breaking gender stereotypes in the labor force by entering jobs that are usually held by men. Take, for example, Luani Manzanero, who manages thousands of acres of developed farmland in Valley of Peace Village. We interviewed her back in April. It's like a man's position, right? So in agriculture, you always expect to see a man in the position, a man in the seat, a man running the show. And that's, that's the biggest gap that you have to fill. Because trust me, I mean, you coming and you come to see me at the farm, some people are like, oh, you're the manager. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. Then there is Vonetta Dawson, a fisher folk from Dangriga town. She was awarded the 2022 Fisher of the Year Award back in June. Being a woman in fishing, if you're not fishing with your spouse or your dad or, or uncle, it's hard to get on a other boat and go fish because they look at us as women and don't really believe that we dive. We man the engine, we haul the nets, but we do exactly the same stuff as the guys do. Manzanero and Dawson are inspirations to young women who are pursuing careers in order to bridge the divide. Earlier this week, we spoke with Driana Hyde, a Social Security Board scholarship recipient who will be furthering her studies in electrical engineering. A female, yes, I wanted to intelligence to be an electrician. Um, I always want to, like, I watch people and get motivated and I always want to become one. It's not something I always wanted, like, from a child growing up, but as growing up, I want to have, I say, under my belt, certain stuff under my belt. One motto I always keep in my head that I wish other female could always is that you don't need a man to do the man job. Uh, you could do it, you could do it. Once you put your head to that you're going to do it, you can do it. While the country's rank for economic participation in the Global Gender Gap Index is an encouraging sign, Belize is ranked at 130 for political participation, only ahead of countries like Jordan, Nigeria, and Iran. Currently, only 4 or 12 percent of the 31 seats in the House of Representatives are filled by women. Notwithstanding the disparity, women in Belizean politics are set on breaking the glass ceiling. Back in March, then aspirant for party leader Tracy Panton announced her ambition to become the first female prime minister of Belize. I think it's unprecedented, um, quite frankly, and I think it would speak volumes about us as a society and us as a party in terms of really um, championing women in leadership, really looking at women um, in greater leadership roles, having a, a, a very fair, a clear seat at the decision-making table. In 2018, former PUP Port Loyola aspirant Candice Spitz chided her party for a lack of support for her candidacy by the PUP's United Women's Group. Present Speaker of the House of Representatives Valerie Woods shared candidly at the time. I certainly um, would like to be involved more with a party that has women candidates and women in the House. I, I firmly believe that. Um, I, I mean, I firmly want, I, I want to see more of that. Um, I'm not going to speak for the party on whatever processes they have used. I wasn't involved in that, but um, I think I have a contribution to make. To achieve greater gender equality in women's empowerment in the Caribbean community, the CARICOM Secretariat contends that there must be a framework for strategic action. To this end, they are conducting stakeholder workshops across the region on the draft CARICOM Regional Gender Equality Strategy. Belize and six other Caribbean countries but particularly Belize, must raise women's labor force participation rates. I remember when we did our first report to CEDA when I was at the Women's Commission. It's the same thing. We hear the same thing. It's gotten a little better, but nowhere where it should be. Translation, enough women in Belize are not working. And we have a lot of educated women. They're working. I don't know what happened because women are coming out like three to one from the university still and the labor force participation rate is not increasing. Gains in political participation have slipped region-wide 
In 2015, the region had two women prime ministers. We had Portia Simpson Miller and we had Kamla Prasad Bissessa from Trinidad. And then now, 2019, Mia Motley won and she won again January this year. And there's one woman prime minister among 19 men. Figure what that means. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.